So the game's finished here in Braga. And it's finished uh, Braga 3, Wolverhampton Wanderers 3. Uh, what can you say about the game? <laughs> I mean, again, it's been fantastic being on the European Tour. Wolves needed a point to qualify uh, for the group, uh, through the group, um, to get into the round of 32. We've certainly achieved that. Uh, but we were in a, such a strong position at half-time, leading 3-1, and uh, really in control of the game from at, at, at that point. In fact, control. we had a chance at the start of the second, second half as well. But in terms of like the game, let's go back to the beginning of the match. Let's go back to it. Um, getting into the stadium was a bit tricky again. Uh, a bit like Torino with a little bit of a, a crush. It's been raining and raining and raining. And uh, got through, and then you had to get through the qualifiers to get into the stadium. And it's, a, it's the weirdest stadium. Weirdest stadium when you're at, inside the ground. There, um, as I say, the official attendance here today is 12,000. We know for definite 2,000 away fans uh, from Wolves. There's probably about three or four others. So I reckon almost half the attendance here today has got to be uh, Wolves fans. And the boy of the Wolves fans sang, sang throughout, sang throughout the entire game. Absolutely fantastic from the boys, fantastic from the fans. Uh, absolutely brilliant in terms of uh, in terms of how they've actually played. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what to say. Uh, but basically, uh, the, from the start of the match, from the start of the match, uh, Wolves gave adjusted to conditions to start with. Rain, soggy pitch. We were sort of in control. Uh, starting to get into the game. They've had a shot, a speculative shot. It's ricocheted, I think, off Neve. It took a ricky deflection and it beat uh, Patricio into the top corner. That's 1 0 to Braga after about six minutes. Um, stunned actually the Wolves fans because he sort of came out of a little bit out of nowhere. Um, but Wolves continue to play. Uh, he's away to the game. And uh, it's a good goal for Wolves. It's Jimenez again that scored the goal. Um, fantastic work from um, Johnny Otto down the wing. He flicks it across. Jimenez again in the air like a salmon. Uh, puts it away. Hedo back across the keeper. Another goal for him and Ed. He just he scored, keeps on scoring. And then after, it seemed like uh, after that, Wolves just, just ran the show. A bit like the Bournemouth game, to be honest. So much in control. Um, him and Ed has done another bit of filth. And um, Doherty's got in and scored for 2-1. Shortly after that, we scored a third with Traore getting on the score sheet. Traore's done well all night as well. 3-1. And Wolves have created chance after chance after that. We've gone in at half time, three goals up to one up. Totally in charge of the game, bossing it, thinking, can we push on in the second half? And it seems like Wolves have switched the um, plane like in the second half and scoring all the goals in the second half. To scoring all the goals in the first half, the last two games. And it scored five goals in the first half and uh, in the second half. Saying that, the start of the second half. We, we should have scored again two couple of real fantastic chances the keeper save to make it four or five it hasn't happened and uh, the Wolves have started to coast a little bit and we've created a basically um, gave the ball away been a bit sloppy and uh, they've got a goal got down the thing and it's a tap in on about 60 something minutes and then obviously one goal in it they've got the tails up again and um They've had a corner, we've dealt with that, and then the, the second ball, the second cross, is a delicious delivery, and they're 3-3. Uh, they're three, three. Wolves have continued to try and look for the uh, for the winner, and uh, Braga have looked dangerous, especially down the left flank, our, uh, on our right-hand side. They've created uh, lots of problems, uh, but Wolves are probably pushing for the winner at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the match. He's there again. Wolves are pushing at the end of the match to try and get that ball, but we don't want to concede a, concede a ball for them, and it's ended up 3-3. Three, three. Uh, fantastic, as I say, support from the boys. I thought we played really well. Nuno will be disappointed, uh, I would say, of what's happened in the, uh, the second half. We should have gone on and won this game, really, but fair play to Braga. I thought their fans were really disappointed in terms of the support, and 
and it's uh, I know it's a bit wet and they're probably not used to the uh, the wet weather over here but but still it's poor show really from uh, the turnout from the Braga fans and why oh why did Braga they've got 12,000 um, in the stadium at 30,000 say why didn't they not give Wolves more allocated tickets well probably because they wanted to earn the extra 100,000 or so K that they've got from uh, from not but um, my man of the match tonight so I'm going to give it to Matinho some absolute genius magic from him on the field I'm going to give it to Matinho wherever you watch it tonight were you in the stadium you watch it around the world let me know uh, leave your thoughts on the game qualified for Europe uh, when, you know would have been you know put Prague in pole position in going into the last match uh, proceeding but you never know what's going to happen Wolves are at home to the six hats they've got a way away to Slob and Bratislava so that ain't going to be an easy game for them um, who's to say what can happen in that but Wolves are definitely through it doesn't matter whether we go through as winners of the group or second no one is going to want to play Wolves anyway let's face it and um yeah, so here at the stadium in Braga with a, with a mountain on the one side, a forest on the other side. It's finished. Braga 3, Wolverhampton Wonders 3. And um, yeah, leave your thoughts, subscribe, share the love, and uh, leave your thoughts below. And from me, Dad, Lindy, till the next one, always. Wolf.